Hey, what is up, YouTube? This is Lost Inferno Fire Dragon here, and today I'll be going ahead and doing the waste unit for the Strike Freedom. I went ahead and got both of the legs done last night, along with the ankles. And the feet I got done last night. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and get started on this. So, yeah. Also, I won't be able to finish the kit till I can get certain pieces in. Because I accidentally threw the... I not accidentally, I threw away runner O because I thought I didn't need it anymore. So runner O has two pieces I need in order to finish the unit. Which the pieces are O5 and O5 and trying to find it here hang on piece 06 without those two pieces I can't finish the strike freedom so hopefully I can get those pieces find some hopefully someone can make an STL file for those or I can get those pieces ordered and get them here quickly so I can finish the strike freedom. Okay, so I need runner F, which I think it's, no, that's G. Okay, we need F1, which is right here. So we'll just nip there there, there, and there. And there we go. The piece is out. Although I might want to hang on. Okay, we got that done. I just put it on my little stand I made back in high school when I was in shop class. Next we need polycap 22, which is right down here. which I need to get F2 right here. Yeah, right there. There we go. And the piece will connect right in there. Next we need to grab N2, which is this piece right here, which is the hip uh, rail cannon.
and just in case um, how to file I'm doing it again but maybe I shouldn't do it because I think you guys probably get it now okay so what I need to do is take Put that there and flip this over and voila the first piece for the hip rail cannon is done so we'll put it right down there next we need F 13 and 14 which are these two pieces right here so I'll go ahead cut them out now which I cut them out and yeah well okay what you need to do is have it down like that have okay so this is F14, I believe. Okay, there we go. Oh, crud. Hitting the head of the Strike Freedom. And voila! Slides out, slides in perfectly. And here's what the head looks like along with the hands. Well, one of the hands. Here's the other one. Oh, sorry about that. There we go. Okay, so we got that done. Next, we need to grab <clears throat> well, first. I'm going to grab F6 first. Then grab Polycap 22 again. And then you'll put the poly cap right in there. Then you'll grab F5, nip there, there, and there. And then we'll combine the pieces here, and boom! Get that piece done. Next we grab piece We grab runner A, which I gotta be careful with how I 
get it. Ah, here we go. Yep, runner A. Okay, so I need A16. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but that is one freaky sound. Sound if you can if you can't hear it. If whatever it was blowing outside a few minutes ago. Okay, so here's the piece we just finished. So that'll connect right to the back of here. Well, dropped it. Okay. So what you need to do is, okay, well, I don't want to break it, okay, so basically you go, Oh, I was putting it on. There we go. I was just putting it on upside down, was all. Okay, we got that piece done. Next, we need. B14 B14 and 13 along with H H14 is nipped. Oh. Oh. You just gotta be careful with these very small pieces. If you aren't, they are gone and you can't find them again. It's gonna be. It's gonna be hard to find them again. <sighs> Trust me, I should know. I've done it plenty of times before. And that piece will fit inside of there. Then we connect. Okay, so we'll take this piece. Take B13. We'll put that piece here. Or wait. Okay.
in that there. And you'll go that way. Oh, slag. And this is why you want to keep a tiny little flathead screwdriver like I have right now. Because, uh, yeah, you might put pieces on backwards. So, yeah, you might want to be able to have it uh, be able to um, undo the pieces you mess up. Okay, so pop that out of there, pop it in that way, and done. Then it should just connect just like that. Next, we need, I forgot to grab another piece, so we need a 22. Uh, here we go. All right, there we go. One rail cannon done, another to go. One more to go. Okay. Oh wait, I forgot to get one more piece off. And, boop, boop, and, As you can see, we have one complete empty runner. And I'll put the piece we need down there. And we can toss the piece we no longer need. I'll just grab the piece real quick. And on boop and angle. And boom. Let me see if I can just use this to All right, that's one completed railgun. Now one more to go. Okay, so I need to do the same again. 
Okay, so I need F4. And F3, so I'll just go ahead and nip their pieces out and yeah. Alright, my camera's about ready to die, so yeah, I'll go ahead and think either tomorrow's video or next week's video, I'll go ahead and show you the completed hip, the waist, and everything else. Hopefully I can get the pieces I need, or someone can make an STL file of the pieces I need, and yeah. So this is Lost Inferno Fire Dragon, signing off.